Hello everyone, welcome back to Fairly Determined FM with me, my name is Chris, I hope you're doing well. It's Cup Final Day, and not only is it Cup Final Day, it's Champions League Cup Final Day, it's the big one. Now, I don't have a suit, but what I do have, I do have a tie. You know, traditional, got to wear a suit, this is the best I can do. Since we last met, I guess the big news is that we did not win the league. We came fourth in the end, equal on points with Atletico Bilbao in third. Uh, on 69 points, we were some distance, uh, some seven points off, really, Barcelona at the top. Yeah, it, the end of the season didn't really change much. It was we, were, we remained incredibly average. I'm not really sure what to do for next season. I Tactically, I, ended, I went back to the 4-2-3-1 Gagan press because I thought, you know, bugger it. I, we're not going to win the league. We might as well just just sort of press teams to death for the last four games, and that's what we did. And it didn't. Well, you can see it didn't didn't really make much of a difference, did it? Not at all. Because we've got some really good defenders. I might try for a three at the back next next season. Might try for a nice three at the back. I've, I very rarely get them to work, but I figure why not? Let's give it a go, eh? Let's give it a go. I think that's what I'm going to go. We definitely need a left back. We definitely need another striker. Um, we've already got coming in, uh, I think I mentioned it last episode, but coming in, we've already got Atella Mazzoni, who I think will be really good in that ball winning role. He can play halfback as well. So there's the possibility that we can do a 4 3 3 with a halfback, which becomes like a, a 3 5 2, 3 4 3. It becomes like a 3 4 3, depending on how you set up. So he's already joining. So I don't know if we need that many more midfield reinforcements. We've got a lot of midfielders. You know, Ravello is good. He can also tackle. Uh, Torre, we've still got uh, Abid, the other one. Cruz, there we go. So they can all play in the middle of the pitch. Alfredo, obviously Barisic still. I, I can personally, I consider this a free hit. Like I never expected to get to the final. I never, I certainly never expected to be playing PSG in the final. Uh, they're really good. They are really good. How many did they win the league by this year? I'm going to say a lot. A lot, yes. They're very, very, very good. They've got some ridiculous players still. This is what I've done. We've not trained this. I'm doing this on the day of the game. I'm, going, I'm throwing tactical spanners in the work. What I'm trying to do is a counter system. They're going to, they're, PSG are going to try and control the ball, play out from defence, and we're going to let them do that. But what I want is that when we win the ball, I want us to get the ball up the pitch quicker, pass into space. I don't know if there's going to be space, but we'll try it. We'll give it a go. We're going to be too creatively free. We're not going to dribble. We're not going to dribble more than, than normal. Not working the ball into box. I want players to have shots when they can take them. We're not going to play out of defence because PSG are also going to press us quite a lot, and which means there'll be space for us to pass the ball into. If we can get the ball to the deep line playmaker or these inside forwards or Rosa as a deep line forward at the top, then I think, I think we'll be good. I'm not sure, though. I would like to play Arca, but he's so... He's not very match fit. Because he's he spent the last two months out injured. So I think this is what we're going to have to do to start with. I might make the switch later on in the game where Rashford goes up top and Arco goes on to the left. We do have Houtman who can play. I guess I might start that actually. We might start with Houtman on the left. Rashford up top. So I think Rashford's better suited than Rosa to that deep line forward role. Uh, and Rashford's just a better player. Although recently, form-wise, not so much. So we're going to switch that again. This is how this is this is what we're going to do. Yeah. So. We're going to try on the counter. We're going to let them have the ball. Barisic is going to sort of slot into this midfield role. Um, and then Shurivella and Gertrude, are going to, obviously his wing backs are going to push further up the pitch. So in possession, I think we're going to be more like, you know, with these guys up here, these guys up here, Barisic in the middle. That's the plan. Low line of engagement. I'm, I'm quite happy for them to just sit, like play around and have the ball. But as, as soon as they get close to us, we're going to trigger that press and we're going to tackle them hard. These four players, five players, going to tackle hard and really, really get at them. That's the plan. It's the first Champions League final, and I'm doing stupid tactical things on the day of the game. First highlight, it goes PSG's way. Hakimi throws it into, it doesn't matter, sure, has intercepted it, gives it to Houtman on the left on the left hand side. Torre in the middle of the park, finds Rosa, deep lying forward. Rosa, uh, Houtman finds a great ball out wide to Angelo. Angelo is tackled, and it's a good save from Donnarumma. We were in there. That's what I wanted. That is definitely what I wanted. Brilliant ball from Shirovella out, uh, Houtman out to uh, uh, Angelo. Angelo swings a corner and Eli doesn't quite get the header. Alfredo picks up the loose ball, gives it back to Torre. Is Eli on the edge of the box? Torre to Rosa. Rosa turns, spins his man. Angelo's in. Angelo scores. It's one nil to Atletico Madrid in the Champions League sodding final. Come on, yes, tactical genius. I told you. I told you. 
Eli. Rosa. Rosa. Lovely turn from Rosa, by the way. And then Angelo making a nuisance of himself. Just loses his marker. And in he goes to score the first goal of the game. Alfredo suffered a knot. I'm going to keep him out there. Torre in the middle of the park. Oh, terrible pass from Torre. Ansu Fati is in. It's got to be the equaliser, right? No, good save from Fati. It's a good, good save from Fati. Torre, what? Torre, rather. What were you doing with that pass? Unbelievable stuff. Odegaard swings a corner in. It's headed away. Rosa could have broken for that, but he didn't make the run. Odegaard gets the ball in again. Fatty avoids the tackle. Graven Birch out wide to Odegaard. Odegaard takes a shot. It goes wide and over. I don't want to say we're in control because PSG are having a lot of the ball. We're seeing a lot of highlights come PSG's way. But I'm going to praise the boys because this has been really good. Angelo's taking a knock as well. Are they just kicking our players? Is that what's happening? Are they kicking us because they can't get close to us? Theo. Is that Theo Hernandez? I guess it is. Barandas. Great name. Hakimi. Odegaard. Finds Graven Birch on the edge of the box. Shirovella wins the tap, wins the header. Goes back to PSG. Hakimi's out wide with it. Hernandez gets the cross in. Hernandez, Magno rather, with the header. Doesn't quite come off. Uh, we are defending gallantly here, I feel. Eli's on a 6.4 there. That's concerning. And we have picked some injuries. Rosa with a free kick. Swings it in. Sagara at the back post. Sagara. Oh, could have made it two, but it was offside. Right, we're going into half time, I think, with a 1-0 lead in the Champions League final. We are Maybe. PSG with the ball. Odegaard. Brilliant pass. Uh, Fatty's off his line brilliantly. Nils Gravenberg. Gravenberg? Floats that ball forward. Adeyemi wins it in the air. Magno to Odegaard. Oh, God. Magno, please let me go in at half time with a 1 0 lead. No, oh, that's going to get given as a sodding penalty. Eli on a 6.4. That's definitely getting given as a penalty. Bloody hell. Fatty, save a penalty. For the first time this season, will you say, I think it's the first time this season, please save this. Please, please save it. Fine, good, good. That's what I wanted. Eli, you donut, you absolute donut. Should have had flighters on. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Get out of my face. Right, it's 1-1, one, one, half time. We all know what happens if this goes to penalty. Eli on a 6.2, he's got to come off. I think we have played well. This tactic, I'm quite happy with it. If I'm honest, I think it's been good. Angelo's got to come off though, so what do we do here? Rashford, I think, to come on. Because Rose is playing really well. Alfredo is injured, but I don't want to make three subs, really. I think Flytus has got to go on for Eli. He's playing so poorly. And Torre is also on a 6.4, this middle of the park. Barisic on a 6.5. Torre on a 6.4. If this goes to extra time, we get another sub anyway. I don't want to risk leaving Alfredo out there because he's, he's knackered, but we don't have much choice. I think I'm going to leave it like this for the next... 30 minutes or so until we get to sort of like 70 minute mark and then I might make change in the middle. Encourage the boys. I'm happy with how we've played. I think we've matched PSG. Possession wise, ever they've definitely had more of the ball. I don't believe it. Our left side is made of Weetabix. Unbelievable. Right, Arca's going to have to come on. That's completely changed all the subs that I was going to make. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Our left hand side. I'm just going to buy left wingers, I think, in the transfer window because we just seem to take injuries on that side of the pitch. Right, we can't make any more subs, so this is this is what we've got. Corner, Arca, to swing it in. He does so. Rosa doesn't make doesn't meet the header. Rashford at the edge of the box. Takes on his man. Gives it into Alfredo. Alfredo to Torre. Barisic on a yellow card. Back to Gertrude. It's Rashford once again. Barisic now finds Torre. Torre gives it to Arca. Come on, Arca! Yes! Come on! 76 minutes on the clock. We are going to start wasting some time frequently wasting some time for 15 minutes that's fine that's okay to do isn't it Arca has been injured for two months now and he's come on at after half time to score maybe the winning goal in the Champions League final what a goal that is as well he rifles it into that top corner Kovar swings it in oh they've equalised I don't believe that they've equalised immediately he's not offside he's not offside there's no way there's no way yeah so 2-2 two -two. they equalised instantly Okay. Okay. Fine. Might be going to extra time. Again, that's okay. That is okay. We get another sub. I'm going to take Alfredo off because he's on a booking and he's absolutely knackered. Not like this. Not like this. Odegaard with a free kick in the 90th minute. Oh, God, it's come off the post. Shirovella boots it away. Come on. Come on, boys. Ansu Fati, Kovart, Gravenberch, Odegaard, Fat. Oh. Oh, it sums up the season, doesn't it? It sums up the season. I don't want it. I'm not watching it. I'm not watching it. I, I can't find the thing to skip it. 
That sums up our season. We played so well, and then... Uh, no, no, Pitt, no, I don't, no. Get out of my face, I don't want to see any of that. Oh. I don't want to see this, get out of it! Oh, God. Oh, we're so... We're almost a good football team. I mean, we made the Champions League final, so we are a pretty good football team, and we PSG needed a 93rd minute goal to win it. But uh, we were in front twice twice in that game and we couldn't hold on oh it's just disappointing you know disappointing not to have not to have held on to at least take it to extra time so yeah disappointing Houtman is out for four weeks right we want a load of money there we've got 13 million for losing the final we got 10 million from tv revenue and another 20 million from the coefficient ranking pool that's done our finances a world of good look at that beautiful so like a season injury report i mean look at this Ramon Arca missed 40% of the season. That's ridiculous. 40% of the season he missed. You could argue that we may have had a different season had one of our best players remained injury-free, but we'll never know, will we? We will never bloody know. What are we going to do? Get this bloody tie off me. What are we going to do? We're not going to do any of this, the, 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 this next season stuff yet. We're not going to do that now. We're going to do that on Friday. Friday's episode is going to be sort of a shorter uh, end-of-season review. Have a look at players that I think performed well, about areas that we need definitely to improve in. Have a look at some players that we could bring in or have a look at some positions that we need to fill uh, and then talk about the future of the manager's journey because we are coming up to the end of Football Manager 22 now. Um, we're, we're approaching 100 episodes of the manager's journey. So yeah, I've been having some thoughts uh, and we're just going to talk about that on Friday as well. Uh, and I'll see you then. Uh, apologies that we did win nothing this season. We lost the, the cup final, the Spanish cup. We lost the Champions League final. We came fourth in the league, having been first for a decent amount of time, I think. It is what it is. Thank you for watching the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know what you thought down in the comments. Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you soon. Small Manager's Journey. Thank you very much. Cheers. Bye.